morning, kids. Come on in for a little time. Man, it's so good to see you guys this morning. Hey, Pastor Roger is going to talk with us this morning about a story in the Bible about a guy named Job. And Job is going through a really difficult time. He's lost his family and his friends and his home. Can you imagine that? Going through just one of those losses would be so hard, but he's lost pretty much everything. He's sad, he's lonely, and he feels hopeless. What about you? Have you ever experienced a time when you felt like that? Sad or lonely, maybe even hopeless? You know, we don't often spend time talking about the really difficult things in our lives. We most often try to tell people about the really good things in our lives. But you know what I've found to be true? If you're willing to be honest and vulnerable with your friends about things that are hard and times when you're kind of hurting, it actually strengthens your friendship. And you don't have to be alone in your struggle because now you've invited a friend in. But you know what? It takes courage to be honest about hard things. I asked some of my brave friends at Village if they'd be willing to share a time when they felt sad or scared or lonely. Let's hear what they have to say. I felt really scared when I had a bad dream last night and it was really scary. But I came to mom and she, and she helped me. I was scared when I got my appendix up. Mommy helped me feel better. When, when we lost our old cat named Rosie, we thought she might have died. She, we thought she might have died, but she might have also been adopted. I also worry about this one because she goes missing. Wow, you guys! Thanks so much for sharing that with us. It's not easy to talk about hard things, so thanks for your courage. Well, in the story today about Job, he is so tired and sad and lonely that he wonders if God is absent. And you know what? I've felt that way before too. I bet you have too. But guess what? God is never absent. He tells us he is with us every minute of every day, even when we can't feel it. God's promises are always true, even if sometimes they don't feel true when we're going through the really hard times. But how cool is it that even when we're sad or tired or lonely or feeling hopeless, God is with us in it. We are never alone. You know what I thought would be cool? If it's okay with your parents, grab a pen or a marker and we're gonna draw a heart on our hands. Or have somebody sitting with you draw it for you if that would work better for you. So here's the deal. Draw your heart. All right, just something like this. Really simple. Today, every time you see that heart, let it remind you that God loves you more than you can even imagine and that he's with you every single minute of every single day. You are never alone. And it's Valentine's Day. So what a great day to constantly be reminded that you are loved. Let's say a repeat after me prayer together. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for your promise to be with us all the time. We are grateful that we never have to face hard things alone. In Jesus name, amen. So good to be with you guys this morning. See you soon.